Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Seiken Setsu 3. Last time we got the moon spirit, and we're here in the lamp flower forest to look for the last spirit. And like I said, I was going to, I grind it up to 24. This is going to be so <coughs> decently underleveled. No, I probably wasn't. I probably could have done fine. But I, I always feel like being. It'll be easier for the purpose of an LP if I'm on a higher level, so. So, yeah. Anyways. The only thing. The only thing new is that Hawk learned Fire Jutsu, which lowers their magic attack power. Which, you know, could have its uses, but it's not going to be very useful. Maybe in like some of the final bosses, maybe. But for now, no, not really. Chests everywhere, damn. I didn't see this many chests when I was grinding. Ah, see, we were very close when I showed you around this area. We were very close to the boss. It's just like right up the next screen from here. Damn, yeah, I was trying to lure up them up here so I could nail both of them with vacuum search spear, but... Stupid sleep flower. Like a pain in the ass. She's every screen. The treasure chest. I ain't complaining, but a lot. As we're going into the boss, I may as well heal Hawk up a little bit. Alrighty, well, let's let them do this. The giant plant. Oh no. Nope. I think it is daytime. I'll wait to see if it actually is daytime before I do that though. Yeah, it definitely looks like it is. Power up. Definitely daytime, so you can use pressure point. Put any buffs on him yet, so. 
Here, heal yourself. And you... Yeah, keep off him, why not? That just lowers his attack power. But, can't hurt. Poisoned. I think they have. No, hot didn't get poisoned by that. Yeah, probably got very little HP left. Hammer B. That was an interesting, cool looking move. Not really that powerful, but. And like I said, he's just about dead, yeah. Really one of the easier bosses. He's really not too tough. Even tough at it and grind, but eh. look, let's try it. Yay! <laughs> yeah, that would explain it. Yep, <laughs> and she's a. Uh, Dryad is, uh, has no self-esteem for some reason. <laughs> it's an odd characteristic for a mana spirit, but okay. Let's hurry. The island to the island of oblivion. That was a good name. Stupid sleep flower. So I doing that. Like, oh yeah, duh, I'm not controlling them, that's why. Stupid sleep flower. But anyways, yeah, well, I will simply meet do what I've done the last few times and meet you back at the beach. And then we will sail on over to the island of Oblivion. So, see you guys then. Hey guys, we're back here at the beach, so let us call our derp turtle and sail on over to the island of oblivion. It's like saying that, I don't know why. But, make it more epic sounding than it needs to be. Mm. <laughs> of course it puts a little, oh, damn it. That was dumb. You really should know when you're doing that that you don't need to go back in, but it's, it'd be way too difficult really to program that. So I don't, I don't blame them. Make sure you actually, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna go to this spot right in the middle of the world, kind of in the middle of the ocean here. See if we can get into the man of holy land. That would be nice. Rain 
rainbow ball of pain. Another rainbow ball of pain. Only better this time. Yeah, we win, I guess. And she's like, no, it wasn't me. Oh no, insane coincidence. <laughs> make sense, like this one's clearly an airship of some sort. It makes perfectly good sense that this could do it. <laughs> That's all Tina. And then they bomb the crap out of us. Because why not? <laughs> we haven't even met, well I guess we did meet Gorin once. again. And somehow we're not dead. Don't know how. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even give a shit. <laughs> this is the one that really doesn't make it's the craziest thing. They're just flying on, they're just getting flown over by freaking eagles. <laughs> I mean, I suppose they're beastmen, so it makes sense, but it's still crazy. I always thought this was the craziest one. And our storyline. Vampire guy. Oh, well, that, that seems like a good thing. <laughs> Everything is according to plan because he died. A little backwards, but all right. Yeah, that would that would be bad for you, probably. I don't know. ship with balloons on it. <laughs> it's almost as ridiculous. It might even be more ridiculous. It depends on how you think about it, I guess. I don't know, they're all kind of they're all kind of strange except for the first one, because that's obviously a, a real airship. We somehow don't die from getting bombed by a freaking airship twice. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're the winged ones. Not sure what I don't remember what happens if you don't have Reese in your party. 
when you get to this point. I think they just say, like, you should try going to Roland or something. I don't remember what, what actually, but with her in the party, she knows what to do. You just go to, you go to Roland. But, I forget what happens if you don't know, if you don't have her, but, oh well. Anyways, we will go to Roland, however, in the next episode, so. Thank you guys so much for watching, and, uh, we will do all this stuff next time. We will see if what, who the father of the winged ones is, and hopefully get into the Man of Holy Land before bad shit happens. So, see you guys then.